It's that time of the year when many of us are rushing to buy flowers for a loved one, and many of those flowers actually crossed from Ciudad Juarez to El Paso. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap reports on some of the confusion about which flowers can cross and which can't. Valentine's Day is this Friday, and U.S. Customs and Border Protection says the most common flower crossed from Juarez to El Paso is the rose. Now, while that flower is allowed, there are still some restrictions that might surprise you. Roses are the most common flower crossed from Juarez to El Paso, but officials say the green filler found in floral bouquets is not allowed. So I declared them, and then once I declared them, he sent me into inspection, and then right then and there, the officer came in and, you know, grabbed the flowers and took them apart and just took out the greenery stuff and just told me that roses were allowed, but not the greenery. Some of the most common flowers not allowed include chrysanthemums, gladiolus, and choisia. CVP says all flowers must be declared. They have an agriculture specialist to inspect for diseases or pests. They say even the permitted flowers could cause harm. We're going to inspect all the flowers because we're, we're not only looking for plant diseases, we're also looking for insects that may be hanging along for a little ride with the, uh, with the flowers and other things coming in. If non-permitted flowers aren't declared, you could be fined up to $300. In the case that you don't know if it's the greenery that's allowed or not, at least you declare them and you were not aware of, and they could just take them apart like they did with mine, and you don't get fined. If you plan on buying flowers and seed at what is this Valentine's Day, CBP recommends you tell the florist you will be crossing to the U.S. and ask them not to use prohibited flowers. For more information and a full list of flowers that are allowed to cross, go to KTSM.com. Reporting at the Santa Fe Bridge in downtown El Paso, Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News.